This is Fox 31 News. We're on it. Quarter to nine right now, looking for a way to give back, but also have some fun at the, at the same time. The best way to give back, right, is have fun too. Uh, this year, Susan G. Komen and the Frisco Nordic Center partnering in a new way to continue the tradition of snowshoe fun and community spirit. And snowshoe, if you haven't done, you haven't snowshoed yet. No, you got I have it. not. It's so cool. Yeah, it sounds awesome. And we have Sue Cooper here, the volunteer chair for the snowshoe for the cure. You've got your scarf on, I put one on. These are so fun. I love it. <laughs> they are, and they're homemade. My friend Julie made these for us for our Soft. team. We've been uh, snowshoeing in this event for 14 years. So, awesome. Let's yeah. let's just talk about how did this all get started. You know, for me, in 2008, my good friend was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 40. So just experiencing that with her and her family, you know, we found this event through um, Comb in Colorado and decided we should do it. And it's just led to so many great experiences and people being more aware of breast cancer and early screenings and how that just helps to save lives. So we continue to do it. Um, my team's raised over $5,000 this year. Cool. So we just, uh, we think it's important that people take care of their health. It looks like fun. You got, uh, I got a headband here. Am I yeah. supposed to put this on? You can that? wear yes. you know, it. You got to wear your pink. There you so. go. And so are these, uh, is this part of the event or is this just your part of the event? This is all my stuff, right? <laughs> I've collected bags of things over the, the last 14 years. Because it's kind of a party, right? It is, right? Everybody shows up and, you know, if you can walk, you can snowshoe. And, yeah. you know, we're better than Frisco, Colorado to go to the Nordic Center. It's beautiful. The town does a great job welcoming us um, and supporting the event, which is just so important to help people battling breast cancer. Um, they need to be aware, they need to get their screenings and help them survive this. And over the years, we've seen more and more survivors, which is great because early detection is the key to our survival. And are you seeing over the years the event getting bigger and bigger? It has, you know, um, you know, we kind of struggled with COVID, right? But breast cancer didn't. So um, it, the event went, uh, basically got canceled in 2020. It was virtual last year. So we're excited to be back, we're on, back. on site uh, next week, next Saturday, March 5th. Okay, so if somebody wants to sign up, is it too late? How do you no, help? How do you get involved? No, you can get involved. Go to the website. I'm sure you guys hopefully have that you could share, but it's Komen, uh, um, dot com slash snowshoe for the cure. Okay. It's fifty dollars to register, um, and then we we only ask that you raise another fifty dollars, and you get a free T-shirt and some other cool stuff because we need to raise the funds to help people. That's what this is about for me: is helping those that cannot afford treatments. Secondary screenings are not covered by many insurance wow. companies. Um, so, you know, I mean, what do you do with childcare when you're sick from chemo or this? So, Komen steps up and Komen helps. So, well, I. You saw it firsthand. I yep. mean, your, your friend was 40. Talk about yep. changing your life at the age of 40. 40, exactly. And she survived and she's great and awesome. growing old. And, you know, but another friend, her sister at the age of 29 was just wow. diagnosed and she did not survive. Why, right? I mean, it's just, it's too random. So we need to be able to find a cure and causes to help end this disease. Such a great mission and a fun way to get out. And make uh, absolutely, it's great. We, we make a weekend of it. You know, we go out, we get some good food and good beers and, you know, maybe do a little skiing. And But it's just, it's it's important to be there. And so No, no just, better place than Frisco, too, to do all of those, all of those Frisco. things. Yes. Yes. Can, you, can you set the website again? It was Coleman? Coleman, Colorado, I think. Uh, at So it's Coleman.com forward slash snowshoe for the cure. And you can go and register. You can register the day of. You can just show up at the Nordic Center. We start about 9 o'clock, so you can go and just register right there and then. There's vendors. There'll be some food. There'll be prizes for like fun. top fundraisers and survivors. Um, people wear the most fabulous costumes. And, I love it. Yeah, it's great. So All pinked out. All pinked out. Well, All thanks right. for coming in, and thanks well, for thank being you. a part of this. And, uh, you know, such an important mission. Nothing wrong with having fun while dealing with what is a very serious issue Absolutely. For, for women across the country. Let's go over to Kylie, 849 right now. And it sounds like they've got some fresh snow up there for this event, for snowshoeing this weekend, Kylie. Which will be great to have. And not only that, we're going to cool or warm things up and bring out the sunshine, which will be perfect.